afternoon, more Medic One. Today we are going to be replacing a spindle on a uh, Scotts Murray uh, style lawnmower. Uh, it's very straightforward, and this is definitely something uh, that you can do at home for the DIYer. But I'm going to show you a couple of tricks uh, to help you uh, make this job easy for you. And uh, definitely need to check a few things before we just, you know, slap spindles on it and send it down the road. But uh, stay tuned and we'll get the spindles replaced. And as you can tell, I've got the new one here. And for some reason, it comes with the bolts. But it also came with five of these smaller screws. <laughs> and as you can tell... They don't do anything, so I just kind of wonder maybe if they accidentally put those in a box, but I don't know. Doesn't matter. We've got a spindle assembly here. I like this one because it comes with a new blade hub and a new shaft. A lot of times when you buy these Noma style Murray spindles, it just comes with just the spindle. And for the same money, I was able to get the shaft, the spacer, the jack shaft, and the blade hub. This job will definitely be easier if you can get the mower off the ground. I'm just happen to use my uh, Harbor Freight uh, lawn mower lift, and I've got the 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 pin through it for safety, and uh, get everything's accessible. You can crawl underneath if you need to, but uh, first thing we need to do is just remove the drive belt, and pull it out of the way. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to show you what I've go got going on here with the idler pulley. Part of my noise is coming from here. Even though it's free and spins good, that bearing is on its way out. So we're going to go ahead and replace this idler pulley. As you can tell, the holes that attach the spindle to the mower deck are not tapped. Uh, I've had a lot of people say that you can just take a uh, tap and tap that, but I like to just take the bolt and run it through with my impact, and it works just fine. Use the bolt as your tap. Pulley doesn't come with the spacer, so you're going to have to transfer the old one. This one just it just press fits in with, by hand and just pull it out. And then transfer it to your new pulley, much like that. Go ahead and give it a tighter on down. Plenty. Alrighty, first thing we're going to do is remove the blade. This particular machine is a 7 8. Obviously, this one's missing a belt guard. I'm going to replace it when I go on with the new spindle, but go ahead and remove the belt. It's just a hand deal there. And I think this is the one that was making the most noise. Yeah, those bearings are shot, shot. Let's see if we can see up underneath. Yep, it wasn't gonna live very much longer. So let's go ahead and remove the pulley bolt 
nut. Now, here comes the fun part. We can actually, I would definitely want to clean this out of here a little more so we can expose the bolts. Here's a better view of that bearing, top bearing is when it shelled out on this one. We've got five bolts that we need to take off. One, two, three, four, five. So just use your impact. And we'll take them right out of there. So once you get all the bolts loose, you can just come up underneath and it should just slide right off like that. Some mower spindles come out through the top. These just happen to come out through the bottom. And what you want to do, you want to inspect and make sure that all this in here, the deck is still good. These stamp decks really shouldn't uh, give an issue unless you have lots of vibration and then they start cracking when out. When you go on with the new spindle, here's another little quick tip that'll help you out. As you see, the grease zerk, always put it towards the front. You don't want to put it, you know, towards the back because then you can't hardly get to it. So just, you know, position it in this position here, or even that's okay, but might as well just put them both towards the front, so whenever you go to service these spindles, you're good to go. Don't get them tight yet. We're going to get them all started, then we're going to go in a star pattern. These two uh, belt guard bolts are going to need, you're going to need, to need an extension. You don't need one that long, that's just the one I grabbed. But you go down in here and just snug these up like that. And then we're going to go the rest of the way with these bolts by hand. So I'm going to tighten this one, skip one, tighten this one, <clears throat> skip one, tighten this one. It just ensures that it pulls it down evenly. <clears throat> Skip one and then the last one here. You don't have to kill these bolts, but uh, they just need to be snug. Go ahead and install your pulley another little quick tip for you. Uh, engage your blades. That way it puts tension on the belt and then you can come in here with your impact and cinch down the, uh, the nut and everything will hold in place. So I went ahead and engaged the blades and uh, what I want to show you is what you want to look for is just make sure your belt is routed correctly. You don't, you're not on the back side of uh, an idler arm or uh, a belt guide. I've seen so many mowers come in like this right here. And that right there will smoke a belt in just a matter of seconds. So just be sure everything's where it's supposed to be. looks good from here. Now would be an excellent time to go ahead and give your blades a freshening up. As you can tell my corners are starting to round off. We are going to give these a sharpen before we put them on. Alrighty guys we got them mounted. I got new uh, the blade sharpened. Not new ones. I got them sharpened. Just checking my tip, tip uh, clearance here to make sure that we're level here across the two blades. If, if, if your blade is down here then you know you might have a bit one or your deck has actually got is warped a little bit
Alrighty guys, we got the spindles replaced on the old Murray once again. Probably put spindles on it every four or five years. Uh, the bearings just get so worn out in the pocket uh, to where you can't put bearings in there anymore. The aluminum housing will actually just beat itself to death. Uh, they don't, you can't, if, if you got any play in the, in the bearing housing, just replace the whole thing. Don't worry about trying to, uh, to replace the bearings. It's not gonna work. Uh, the preload's not gonna be the same, or it's not gonna be right. But anyway, uh, hey, if this helped you out, give me a thumbs up and uh, hit that subscribe button. And while you're there, please uh, hit that notification bell, and uh, that way you get all my new videos. Anyway, y'all have a good rest of your weekend. It's gonna be almost, well, it's not even the weekend yet. My days have been so screwed up since this whole coronavirus thing, and I'll probably get demonetized for saying corona, but, uh, Man, we have been off of work. Uh, they sent us all home. Y'all stay safe, please. Uh, pray for everybody. Uh, anyway, it's Thursday, fixing to be Friday. The weekend's almost here. Have a good day. More Medic One.